In uh, this video, I'll be talking about measuring of distance on projected or Cardison distances as they're called in QGIS versus ellipsoid or great circle distance. So remembering that whenever we work with our GIS data, it is some form of model of reality. And when we measure on our GIS data, we are measuring, we are measuring on our model data, not Real world that it is modeling. So, therefore, distances and areas and all, of the, all of these geometric properties, they are highly influenced by how we model our reality. And one of those basic elements in modeling is projection. So, if we um, take a look at this data set that I have used earlier, so this natural earth um where i have um countries and populated places and um the oceans as the layers i'm working with there so by default when you loaded it it will come in this um non projection um this is this displaying the latitude and longitude data as if they were cardison so um this is um, not anything really. Um, if we uh, want to change to a reasonable world projection, um, I often prefer to use uh, Robinson as my world projection. So um, look something like this. So now we have our data in a projected format. If I um, now zoom in, and it's this for the sake of it a bit fine. So um, I would like to measure the distance from London to Copenhagen. So a relatively short distance around 1,000 kilometers. Um, and see how much influence these different forms of projections have um, on, this, um, on this distance. So if we start up with the standard uh, measurement tool in QGIS so up here um, we can use measurement of line as we say that it has two um, settings it has a cardison so that is the projected data and it has the ellipsoid which is the distance the great circle distance on the ellipse that is used for the projection so in this case it's uh, using uh, the VGS as its um, um, shape or the geo whatever 80. Um, so th this is the the underlying ellipsoid of the earth. If you start with that one and measure the distance from Copenhagen to London. Something like that. That will give us around these 900, and I can change it to kilometers. Easier to read. So, around these uh, 958 kilometers, um, take a leave a bit. So, that is our ellipsoid distance. And that would stay the same when we change projections because that's the unprojected distance. And we have this Cardson. As I say, basically all tools in QGIS measure distance using this Cardison coordinate system. So this is the distance that buffer tools and distance tools will be using. In our software, some of the tools can be specified to use the ellipsoid distance. But as default, this is what we'll be using. So if I now measure the distance from Copenhagen to London, you'll see that we uh, now have 1,080 kilometers. If I choose another projection, so if I down here choose, uh, let's just see, it was a standard Mercator. So I'll just change this to the standard Mercator projection. 
and measure the distance oops from Copenhagen to London we'll see we'll get around 1000 change kilometers maybe good so we get around 1600 kilometers so the these projections are really not good for measuring distances. Um, if we look at one of those uh, standard European ones, so if uh, we'll go for the equal area, so this uh, Lambert as uh, as a model equal area, we will um, let me see how that this ocean does not really project nice in this one but never mind so uh measuring here you'll get something which is 962 which is uh, pretty close to uh maybe even a bit closer if it like that so um much closer to um the ellipsal distance this is of course one of the reasons why this is one of the recommended objections doing european maps because it is closer to representing distances and and areas correctly so um basically it's not just um when working with these uh projections it's not only whether they are equal area or equal distance or conformal but there's lots of other parameters that will change how distances look even on an equal distance uh, map only the distance from the center of uh, of the projection to another is true so it's always um being aware that when you are doing measurements on gis data you are measuring the model data and not the reality so you will if you're not careful often be measuring artifacts of your modeling rather than real world um differences so hope um you found this useful on just being aware of what is it you are measuring when you are measuring uh, distances and areas and so on and how they relate to the underlying projection of your data set so hope to see you in another video bye